Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you here on a Tuesday, I believe it's the 12th, 12th of January. Yeah. Tricky morning here. Kind of in the middle of nowhere trying to decide whether this dollar is going to continue higher or this is the end of the puke. So we had dollar bears come in last week at the beginning of the week. They smashed gold. I mean, they smashed the dollar against gold. Um, they sold dollars um, pretty much against everything. Dollar czar was down at 1455, 100 handles to the left. Dollar max was at 1970. Um, dollar cad was at 126 to figure. So now we've come sort of 100 points back, 150 points back. Euro dollar is at this key moment here. So this was this was um, FOMC, low, 31, bang. Yesterday, um, low, 32, bang. But we also had these lows here in the 20s. And if you remember... It looked really, really bearish down here. I remember a number of different times. I was like, oh, fuck, turning, turning, turning. Especially after this little pattern here. Turning, turning, turning. This low here was uh, 16. This was 21. Um, I have 20 in my head, but of course, these two uh, bars kind of probably make it more like 30. Um are we going to get a fourth red day in Euro? Is there more of a puke uh, down through there? There might be, uh, but I'm a little bit skeptical. What I am watching is this yields bang. Notice green bars on the 10, red bars on Euro dollar. So we're watching it, but we're a little bit skeptical. Why are we skeptical? Cable bounced 100 points. Here's cable. Um, cable bounced 100. Surprising. Um, no, I wouldn't say annoying. Uh, we did. We were playing on the short side yesterday, but it was just tactical, and and we didn't have to wear any of this. Um, you know, sort of selling tens and buying 90s yesterday. Um, but just makes me a little skeptical of the general dollar move, dollar Swiss. We talked about how we thought 20 was going to trade. It was going to go sideways for a bit and then through. What do you know? 20 traded yesterday. Um, 06 now. Again, leaves me a little bit skeptical that Euro is going to, you know, get smashed. This looks like it wants to go sideways. Um, but this is certainly a cleaner chart than Euro 121.30, 89.20 is interesting and important for dollar Swiss. Um, dollar Yen also feels like she wants to go sideways now. Um, all kinds of like, there's a confluence of resistance after quite a few up, uh, up days. You get this line here, which is, you know, it's pretty sexy, right? It comes down from 112. We just nipped it yesterday. Um, are we going to go sideways? Cross yen, nobody cares. Dollar czar still looks very big. Um, 66 the high yesterday. Low ones today. Try and fish around between 45 and 35, I think. Dollar Max did not like it up there yesterday. Um, we were playing on the long side, got up to 27. But then when it came back through 20 for like the third time, it just looked like it just it didn't, didn't have the energy. Now we're right back in the middle of nowhere. This could go either way. This looks like a turn bar in Dollar Max. And let's face it, if this is a turn bar in dollar max, this is just another reason why the dollar is not gonna not gonna dance today. 
So we have like a lot of conflicting little signals here. Euro, I mean Aussie. Uh, this is more of a stock trade, I think, than anything. Traded down to 68. Closed at the figure. Mildly bearish. But does this want to go sideways? Kind of looks like it. Uh, Kiwi. More bearish than Aussie. Better chart. 7150 is interesting. Does she have the energy to have a fourth red day on a Tuesday, on a very cold Tuesday in January? Shit is cold here in Geneva, man. Great ski conditions. Um, dollar CAD, same thing. I'd like to pick some Dollar CAD up down at 30 today. I do think Dollar CAD has turned. <clears throat> I also think oil is going to turn soon. Um, we'll come to that in a second. And here's the uh, here's the elephant, the big monkey in the room. Is it the year of the monkey in uh, China? What year is it over there? They all have those cool animal years. Year of the rat, the monkey. Let's see what it is. Um, this is now super interesting to me. So this like longer term pivot. It looks like it's 650, but now you're like, wow, that low at 648.85 and this high at 649.02. I don't know. 649. We're gonna we're gonna use this. This is very interesting to us, and this will tell you a story about the big dollar in general. If dollar China starts punching through 650, um, we've got a big turn. Gold, that looks like a turn bar. Um, be super careful with this. I still think left is at risk, um, and it's a really hard pattern to trade unless you're a really long-term trader. What are you going to do? Are you going to pay 57s here? Leave a forty dollar stop. Come on, Bobby. What you gonna you gonna hold this till twenty two hundred? Be honest. What's probably gonna happen here is this is gonna make sort of a right shoulder, and this is gonna get slaughtered with higher rates. Could also get slaughtered if equities turn and we get into this like liquidate everything mode, uh, which I'm. I'm mentally prepared for, but not at all short equities right now. Just kind of watching, waiting. The bars will tell me. We did print that interesting 37.76 yesterday, and it does look like a pretty good pivot. Um, so we'll be watching that closely today. 37.76 on the downside. Uh, and if you want to sell equities, uh, you just have to be super patient, right? One of the things that we like to do. I don't have it on this charting system, but we have kind of like a proprietary, uh, I wouldn't call it a Bollinger Band, but it's like a sort of a fade level, and it's part standard deviation, part average true range, um, and whatever you want to use, it doesn't matter, you just have to figure it out and own own it, but today, 38, 37. Um, is uh, is our number. So if you want to sell high ones while it's bid, you never want to sell in the middle of the range. You got to be super careful selling through the lows. There has to be news and energy. You want to sell high ones, but you want to sell high ones at like, at exhaustion. And so, I don't know. If you want to sell 3840s today, go ahead. I mean, that looks even odd saying that. What's it going to go up 50 handles? But it easily could go up 50 handles, right? 1% is 38 handles. So, anyway, um, 37.76. It'll be interesting if we get down there to see how it goes. Bonds, just sell. Shit's going a lot lower. Um, getting a bit extended. If you haven't sold yet and you're starting to sell here, I'd be careful. Um, today we would sell high ones in ZB, uh, probably around 69, well, 169. 
and then you got to keep an eye on stocks, etc. Bitcoin, wow, bang, <laughs> twelve thousand dollar little round trip there. It's close to twenty five percent. I mean, that's more than twenty five percent. Sorry, um, tip to toe. But here we are, we're right back at thirty six. That does not look bearish to me. That tail. What this is telling you is shit is a lot more illiquid than you think. Um, and when people head to the door, gee, we, they, you know, this thing gets muscled. Um, as you all know, we're square. We sold 32 fives just watching this. Um, a massive liquidation of Bitcoin. What does it mean? It could mean a lot of things. Um, it could mean regulation bad regulation from say one of the regulators uh, one of the sovereigns uh, could mean fear liquidation move to cash um, something to watch and it does not look like it's massive liquidation well it looked like there was panic yesterday but then it held in very very well and here we are back at 36,200 um, voila Look at Dollar Turkey. This fucker looks like she's turning as well. Um, we are not ever really bullish on Turkey. Although a lot of friends of mine who do business in Istanbul always mention to me how beautiful uh, the new construction is in that city and how great it is, yada, yada, yada. I haven't been to Istanbul in years, um, so I have no anecdotal evidence. I just know that there's uh, some management issues. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. 752.10, uh, interesting pivot in dollar turkey, if you dare to get short that currency. And then finally, crude. Um, we're looking for this to turn. We did square at the end of the day yesterday, so we're not wearing any of this. Uh, is this going to pop through 52.72? Looks like it is. Uh, a lot of people want this thing lower. I hear their cry. Um, let's just wait. We do remember very uh, well 5130 from non farm and then yesterday we printed 5150. So if you look on the hourly, as you can see what we're talking about, this is 5130. Oh no, that's 50, sorry. This is 5130 here, which was like your little pivoty deal. Now you have 5150. So let's just say you can't really get bearish. This thing's got to get below 5150. A few guys who think like me will have this drawn. This may be your early, early sell. Uh, but with crude, you got to watch the news very, very carefully uh, and then see if the bars are confirming. It's a, it's a tricky little bitch, crude. So I. I don't know. Maybe you should just avoid it. As you can see, I've got a lot of two, uh, a lot of push and pull today. The best chart point is 89.20 in dollar Swiss. Um, we're super skeptical of this. We really need dollar China above 649. We're going to be watching euro at this critical 121, sort of 2030 area. My feeling is this does not have the energy. Uh, to have fun today, and we're going to get a sort of rangy, nowheresville day. Certainly, all the news, impeachment and all this uh, stuff, sort of comes out during U.S. time. So, I don't know, if your skis are waxed, maybe you should go for a ski this morning. Um, just keep a quiet eye on things. Don't really have much for data. Broadbent speaking from the MPC. Looks pretty low on the calendar. Not really much, much at all out there. Wow, weak. So we're looking for impeachment news. I don't even know if that's bullish or bearish at this point. Um, I'm pretty much on the camp of like, why bother? Just put a muzzle on the guy and, and then push him, you know. He's, you don't even have to push him. He has to leave in eight days anyway. So, like, gee wee. But it's it's complicated, right? 
<clears throat> if they are all going to have these protests uh, around the country, that's probably not a great thing. Um, so, pff, I don't know. I don't want to get involved in that muck. Watching these key levels, we're square at the moment on the tactical book. Um, a lot of different things. Gold is not lower. Cable is not lower. Why would Euro turn? Dollar Swiss wants to go sideways. Dollar Max got slapped. Dollar Czar is super bid. Aussie doesn't know what to do. Might be a day just to put the guns down a bit, take a breath, <clears throat> and wait, and start paying attention if the levels are trading. And if you want to fade it, fade it. If you want to break trade it, break trade it in a professional manner with a tight stop. I feel like I'm babbling here. The babble is over. The Tower of Babel is coming down. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.